Well, hello and welcome to this lesson on the ID attribute. What we're going to be doing for HTML5 with JavaScript is talking about the ID attribute for a canvas. Now what I have here, this is my browser. If you, you can see I have two canvases that I could be drawing images on. Here's a canvas here and there's another canvas over here. Let's see how I, I generated these two. Uh, I come over here, there's my source code in Notepad, and if I look, I come down here, here's the first canvas with the warning message that says your browser does not support the canvas element, just for those uh, browsers that don't support the canvas element. So here's the other canvas that I drew is right here, and if you notice, I didn't put the warning message there. Well, the reason why, you don't need to put the warning message in every canvas that you put on your website. It suffices that you just have one. So it just saves you some space. The point of this is, is that I can have as many canvases, or is it can buy, canvases as I want on my web page. And sometimes having multiple canvases with different things going on is really a cool thing to do, especially if you're trying to make games with this. So the point is what I've got here is I have a style. Here's the style for my canvases. and uh, But however, both of them are forced using this method to have the exact same style. Now the question becomes, supposing I wanted to have one canvas having one style and another canvas having another style. How do I do that? In other words, how do I tell uh, the style sheets to distinguish this canvas from the other canvas because they both have the same attributes with height and with height here even if they were different I need a way of distinguishing them well there is a way of doing that and it's called using the ID attribute let me come over here and right click on this I'm going to open this with your friend and mine notepad and when I open that what I see here is I've got now this thing that says pound sign C1 and there's a border width of one style solid light blue pound sign C2 border width 10 pixels outset and light green so where did this pound sign stuff can come from well here's what I added I've added an attribute inside the canvas tag and the attribute is ID equals C1 inside quotation marks. And then if I look at this other canvas element here in the opening tag, I put an attribute that's different. I put ID equals inside quotation marks C2. Now the ID attribute can be anything I want to put in here between quotation marks. Generally avoid putting spaces in there. So what's important about this lesson is that when I have multiple canvas elements up there, I want to be able to distinguish one from the other. I use the ID attribute. Well, in fairness, let's see what we get on the output here. Let's take this over here and let's double click on it. And lo and behold, there's my two canvi or canvases, I guess. And the reason why I was able to distinguish one from the other is because I use the ID attribute. Now, one of the things we may want to talk about is that we have all these different elements here, like we have a body element, we have an HTML element, we have a, a head element, we have a style element, and, and the, the document needs to be able to distinguish which of these elements uh, are different from the others, especially when they start off with the same opening tag, like in this case, canvas and canvas. Okay, uh, the important part of this lesson was the ID attri uh, attribute in the uh, Canvas element. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.